Yo, welcome back guys. So pulling chest, I want to explain why I think this this um, this term is so misused, so misunderstood um, and p kind of plagues the voice coaching community um, for, for the wrong reasons, quite frankly. I feel like I'm the only coach out there that's saying things like pulling chest is a myth um, that understands what causes a yell versus what causes um, a, f a free, free, wide open, full voice that we've seen demonstrated over the years by various singers. So firstly, let's go into my criticism of the coaching community, is that the advice you hear far too often, and we had this with Adele recently, one of my recent videos, the advice you hear far too often is, don't sing wide, narrow, modify the vowel, change the vowel to get it in a safer spot, into a spot where you can sing it freely. Yeah? My argument really with this is that it's a crutch, it's a little kind of hack, it's like putting stabilizers on your bike. Yes, it will get you to sing in that particular phrase freely if you modify and close it down and narrow it down. But in the long term, really the better solution is just to learn to sing in full voice, wide and open, freely. We know this is possible because singers have done it very clearly and we'll look at demonstrations in a second. Loads of singers have done it, professional singers. Very few coaches can do it, but lots of uh, you know professional singers have done it, and we'll look at the demonstrations. Now, conversely, quite a few professional singers pull chest and yell. The question is, what's the solution for them? My argument is it should be learn to sing wide and open freely, not in the, uh, the short-term solution of narrow and close everything down, which will be safe, but you're basically putting yourself in a smaller box. The thing that really good professional singers have that a lot of trained singers don't is they sing really close to the boundaries of what's possible. Some of them cross those boundaries, but the best ones are roughly on those boundaries. Some of them hurt themselves, but if you can get close to those boundaries of what's physically possible, um, if you can learn to do that healthily, you're going to be a very exciting singer to listen to. The issue is it's hard to do. When you narrow down, when you close down, when you modify vowels a lot and you're in the habit of doing that, what you're really doing is you're widening the pathway. You're, now, you're, you're basically working within um, a uh, boundaries that require less skill. That's why it's easy to do. Um, that's why people use that as a solution because they're like, well, if I widen this up, it barks, it yells, it feels hard. So and when I narrow it down, it doesn't. Therefore, that is the solution for all singers. But it's not. They're misunderstanding the problem. The problem is, is they haven't learned to sing wide and open freely. Yeah? That's the problem. Now, let's have a look at some demonstrations. I'm going to explain what's going on when we talk about pulling chest. What is going on? Why do some singers struggle with it? And why do some singers are able to, why are some singers able to do it freely? Um, let's have a look. This, this is just a little video I found that has some good little, got a good contrast at the start here between Aguilera and Houston. Yeah? Two famous singers. One's a yeller, one's a mixer. One's a, you know, one is one of the great singers and one is the most one of the most overrated singers of the last 20 years if you ask me um, uh, anyway let's have a quick look and I'll explain what's going on nope. not quite there Chrissy not what, not what we want oh yes clear free pinging and noticed Wide open, Ooh, rah, rah. wide open, nothing. This has no impact on what's happening in here for her. Total separation between mouth and larynx. Like there's no confusion there at all. Is she narrowing down? She is that is that free? That is free and healthy, man. You can tell there's some clarity to it that is like so pinging and sharp. You know that is in sync with her body. It's absolutely nothing wrong there from a technical perspective. Now, is that easy to do? No. Most singers are never going to get to that point, frankly. That is hard to do. That is a lot, lot of what years of work to get to that point. Now, difference. We know there's just something wrong. What is wrong? What is wrong there? It's like she's making the pitch, but there's something off. Yeah? Now, I would say she just needs to learn to do it like Whitney. 
Other coaches would say she needs to narrow down, change that vowel, modify it. And yeah, in the short term, she could probably sing it better in some sense. Better solutions just to learn, just to improve, improve on those wide open vowels. Um, same thing here with Ed Sheeran. When we did not know the answers and I miss the way you made me feel it's real when we watch the sun Yeah, we watch. Me feel watch. it's real when we watch the sun Yeah, watch is pulled. Over. Watch is pulled. It's hard for him to do. It's not free. Um, <clears throat> right. So that's this. This is the first thing we're just going to quickly cover. Really, is these him and Aguilera by and large have got the same issue here. Is that as they go up, they know they need to squeeze on something to get the pitch. Yeah, they need to squeeze on something to get the pitch. Now both of them make the pitch, so they are squeezing on the right thing. The right muscles are working, but unfortunately for them, they've also got something else being added. They've got more of that horizontal grind, more of that horizontal closure being added as they go up in pitch. So rather than uh, they've got uh, 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 to where they're grinding on it. Yeah, they've increased the compression level as they go up higher. It's become a habit. So now whenever they go high, there's this anticipation of it being hard. There's this, there's this, uh, and they they hold on to it. It's like you're driving a car and they put the brakes on a little bit as they try and go up in pitch. Whew, they're not allowing it just to work. So it's this. Uh, uh, uh. They're adding compression as they go up higher. They're not aware of it because nobody's told them. But that's what destroys the freedom and the ping in the sound. Yeah? So um, if they could just keep that compression even as they change the pitch, they would sound free like 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 our Whitney does yeah you can hear it it's free and compressed so she's not adding any of that as she changes the pitch so for her she's doing no modifying she's doing no adjustment no narrowing or anything she's just isolated the right muscles and is using them and she's not adding any any uh, uh, any more of that uh, 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 none of that uh, yeah this is how I can do it like in this song I put up the other day yeah goes up goes up high but notice, compressed and free. I don't know which way I've come For you I'll Let's go a bit forward. You set me free to say that you wait for me I say that you wait for me Oh, say, say that you wait for me wait for me I say that you wait for me Yeah? That little, uh, that little ad at the end is just for style. But the point is the high notes, very free and compressed. Say that you wait for me. Now that wait, most coaches would get you to narrow that down if you can't do it easily. Rather than say to you, you've got to learn to do that better. Yeah. So I kind of buck the trend here. This is why I've got this discrepancy because <clears throat> most of my learning has come from just watching professional singers rather than um, than believing, listening and believing a lot of the coaching information out there. <clears throat> um, and when I talk about release and closure, really this is what I'm talking about. It gives you the ability to ignore the vowels. Now some vowels, they require more work than others, but the point is you can basically ignore the vowels if you can compress and release in isolation and not confuse the two functions. Um, you set me free to say that you wait for me. I yeah. say that you wait for me. Sounds free. It sounds like a yell in one sense, but it also sounds pingy and clear, just like Whitney's did, yeah? Now, one thing I will say is I'm not able to get as wide as she is right now. 
I can do it, but typically I don't necessarily. Am I seeing that's a great face there? Um, and that is just a case of me developing more as an artist and getting better and better at what I do. You know, the, the, the number of singers like Whitney in the world is probably you can count on one hand, maybe, you know, maybe 20 of them. <laughs> so, you know, um, but the point is I'm on that path. I'm on that journey towards bettering what I can do rather than cheating and putting stabilizers on my bike. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Sarah Baralis is another great example. Compression and release at the same time. You hear it. Yeah. She's got absolute consistent closure. There's no... Uh, uh, no more grind on the top. She releases, she compresses the same. She sets it and then she just... Stretches out those chords, changes the pitch. But this compression stays very even. Yeah. With Sheeran, as he goes up higher, he's clamping down on that closure more. Same with... Uh, Aguilera as she goes up higher uh, she's squeezing for her dear life on that compression to make it feel safe but ironically that's what kills it that's what destroys the purity and the technique and that's what will hurt her eventually and that's what will hurt Ed eventually if he keeps singing like that um, for a number of years and he's singing you know touring day in day out for years he will have some voice problems if he keeps doing it that way because you're grinding down on the chords. They're not they're not vibrating very evenly at that point, and they start to get irritated the more you do it. The more they get irritated, the harder it becomes. You get on that vicious circle of hell, quite frankly. And the other issue I want to talk about with pulling chest is when singers can keep the compression even, but they lo lose some tilt, they lose some release, yeah? And this guy is a particularly good example. Just listen to this chorus. The things I need I once wrote you love songs Never fell in love Yeah, it's pretty good. The compression's pretty even there. But uh, love songs, it just drops out of the mouth. It doesn't keep it released and tilted. So this is the other issue. You can have a change in compression or you can have a lack of release in the sound, a lack of tilt to keep it on top and free. And this is, broadly speaking, the two things that will, quote-unquote, cause you to pull chest, yeah? You either make the pitch and grind on it, on the compression, or you uh, keep the compression even, but you don't really make the pitch completely. It's kind of flat. It feels flat, even though you, you kind of made it. Um, and that's it. And these obviously, these issues can be combined in different various ways. But broadly speaking, that's it. Either there's not enough release in the tone or the compression is grinding down or sometimes the opposite. The compression can back off and it can get airy. But broadly speaking, it's an, 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 a change in compression or it's a lack of release in the tone. If you can keep even compression and you can, can maintain the release on any vowel, you will be able to do this. You know, listen to the way the vibrato creeps in towards the end. She straight tones it and then the vibrato kicks in. That's how you know it's totally free. The vibrato is so even. Yeah, you got it there, man. You got it there. And uh, I don't want to blow my own, drum my own trumpet, but this is good, man. This is good. Yes, you go lad, you go lad, see, that's what I'm talking about people, you show me somebody that can fucking do this, show me, there ain't no, no one, I can because I fucking went there, I fucking did it, I fucking took everyone out, there we go. Thanks for watching this video guys, if you want my help personally, you can book a one-on-one -on -one training session, drop me a message, my email is in the description. And if you feel like this message was of value, then please feel free to make a donation equal to that value. Again, donation link is in the description. And finally, please share this video with other singers you know. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in another video. Bye.